Hi friends, today in this video let us see the rule based system. So the fuzzy logic uh, depends upon rule based system as we already discussed fuzzy inference system. In that fuzzy inference system we need to first convert our crisp values into fuzzified values by using fuzzification and after getting fuzzified value we need to take the decision so based on this rule base only we need to take the decision let us see how the rule base is framed and how the rules are formed in a meaningful manner and that will be understood by the computer or the system let us see how we need to proceed for with this rule based system yeah what is meant by rule based system that means the fuzzy rule based system uses if then rule based system so it's just like if then if something happens then some other thing will occur so it's given by if antecedent then consequent so antecedent means something happens consequent means the other thing will happen i mean if something happened then the other thing will happen so just like if then rules let us see by taking some examples also then we can understand these quotes in a proper manner the formation of the fuzzy rules is discussed in this chapter okay right let us discuss this yeah formation of rules how the rules will be framed and how the rules are formulated so the formation is of rules is in general the canonical rule formation okay let us see that canonical rule formation also for any linguistic variable there are three general forms in which canonical rules can be formed so what are those rules those are assignment statements conditional statements and unconditional statements let us discuss one by one what is assignment statements and what is what are the conditional statements and what are the unconditional statements let's move on so assignment statements that means these statements are those in which the variable is assigned with the value let's if a equal to 5 okay that is simple assignment just like that and the variable and the value assignment are combined with the assignment operator is equal to okay just what we have discussed now and the assignment statements are necessary in forming the fuzzy rules so the assignment statements are really necessary in forming the fuzzy rules so definitely we need to write the statement so the value to be assigned may be a linguistic term that may be a linguistic term also for example if sky is blue here e is is represented as is equal to okay this is in if we are using linguistic value there is no need to use is equal to so you can simply use is just like that you will see the examples also yeah these are the some of the examples of this type of statements why is it why is equal to low okay we can write like that also sky color is equal to blue climate is equal to hot a equal to 5 p equal to q plus r temperature is equal to high and the assignment statement is found to be restrict the value of a variable to a specified equality that means we are restricting the value for example if you take a equal to 5 a should be equal to 5 and it is not equal to any other number so we are restricting the value so that's why in this assignment statements we are restricting the value to to the specified value and that will be the constant this is the one one type of formulation of rules the first method that was assignment statements so we are simply assigning one value to the other value or the linguistic terms next the second one is conditional statements so in this statement some specific conditions are mentioned okay if the conditions are satisfied then it enters the following statements called as restrictions it means if x is equal to y then both are equal the first one is the condition and this second one is the restriction so first one is if x equal to y okay that is the condition if the, this condition satisfies what will happen then both are equal that's all that only we can say both are equal that's all 
not more than else so we are restricting the value and similarly if marks greater than 50 then pass if marks greater than 50 then pass that that's all we can't say any other things we may whether it is first class or second class or third class we can't say anything simply if it is greater than 50 then pass that's all that means we are restricting the value if speed is greater than 1 500 if sorry if speed is greater than 1500 then stop so this is in in this case speed is greater than 1500 is the antecedent and stop is the consequent so antecedent is always the condition and stop is always the restriction okay that is the frame and formulation of the rules and this is the this come under conditional statements these statements can be said as fuzzy conditional statements such as if condition c dash then restriction f dash okay this is the simple syntax of how we have written all the three examples in the first bullet next next one is unconditional statements this is the third one uh, there is no specific condition that there is no specific condition that that has to be satisfied in this form of statement so there is no condition we can simply do it so some of the conditional statements are go to f by o okay, you can straight away go to f by o next push the value so simply you need to push the value or stop simple simply given it no there is no condition at all if you come to that statement or if you come to that level or if you come to that place definitely it will be operated that's all simple so these are called unconditional statements there is no condition involved here the control may be transferred without any appropriate conditions in this in this uncontrolled unconditional statements the control is may be transferred without any appropriate condition so con without any condition the control has been transferred so the unconditional restrictions in the fuzzy form can be how it will be so the restriction one will be output is b1 so you can straight away say that output is b1 and r2 equal to output is b2 and and so on where b1 and b2 are the fuzzy consequence okay so in this way it will be operated both conditional and unconditional statements place restrictions on the consequent of the rule based process because of certain conditions that's all so both conditional and unconditional statements place the restrictions on the consequence of the rule based system we have discussed this part okay always the antecedent is the condition and the this the consequent is the restriction but in conditional there is a condition so obviously what we have discussed is correct but in unconditional there is no condition but the Consequent is always placed in the restrictions part in both of them. Okay, that's the thing he has explained. So the next one is canonical form. Canonical form means the fuzzy sets and the relations model the restrictions. Okay, we can use fuzzy sets and relations. They model the all the restrictions and the linguistic connections like n or else connects the condition. So there may be so many cases and we can combine them with and and or okay that is called canonical form conditional or unconditional and restriction statements so let us see canonical form of fuzzy rule based system rule 1 may be like this if condition c1 then restriction r1 rule 2 may be condition c2 then restriction r2 in this way the canonical form will be there the consequent of rules and output is denoted by the restrictions r1 r2 and so on rm so these are the consequence of the things so these consequence means restrictions okay we can place the restrictions in place of consequence that's all next decomposition of rules so how it will be decomposed so these might be a compound rule structure involved in many applications an example of that means these are the compound things so, so many rules are there we need to club them if x is equal to y then both are equal okay else otherwise whatever if x equal to y 
x equal to y then if x is greater than y then x is higher else if y is greater than x then y is higher else that means he has given some more information that that means if f is not equal to y what happens if f is not equal to y then f may be greater than y if that is the case then x is higher if y may be greater than x that is the case then y is higher so this in this way they have divided they have given the clear picture of the relation between x and y if x and y are equal to 0 then no output is obtained okay in this thing if x and y are equal to 0 there is no output okay let us see one more things so methods of decomposition of rules what are the different methods in this decomposition by using fuzzy properties and operations any compound rule structure can be decomposed and re reduced to number of simple canonical rules so here one compound structure has been given to us rule structure and that will be decomposed into canonical forms that means small small statements so how we can do that there are various methods of uh, decomposition of rules first one is multiple conjunction antecedents second one is multiple disjunction antecedents next conditional statements with else nested if then rules so let us see one by one how these things will be done multiple conjunction antecedents this uses fuzzy intersection operation and since it involves a linguistic end of end collective so if x is p1 and p2 and so on and pn then y is qr that means y is qr where pr can be represented as p1 and p2 and so on pn the membership value can be mu pr of x is equal to minimum of mu p of 1 of x mu p of 2 of x and mu p of n of x multiple conjunction antecedents so here if x is p1 and p2 and so on and pn so there are so many antecedents and they are combined together by using logical and if this is the case then y is the qr where if pr is p1 and p2 and so on pn then the membership function can be taken as mu p r of x is equal to minimum of mu p1 of x mu p2 of x and so on mu pn of x so the membership function can be taken as as this is union i mean this is the intersection operation so we need to take the minimum value out of all the membership values if you can see here so mu p1 of x is the membership value occurred with the antecedent p1 and the second one is membership value for p2 and so on membership value for pn out of which we need to identify the minimum of it and that can be the membership value of pr that means total antecedent membership value hence the rule can be if x is pr then y is qr simple concept if x is pr then y is qr so what is pr pr means p1 and p2 and so on and pn so that's the concept so this is called multiple conjunction antecedents so we are adding all antecedents from p1 to pn and that will be represented as pr and the membership value of pr can be calculated as the minimum of all all the membership values of the antecedents so this is come under multiple conjunction antecedents so the second one is multiple disjection antecedents and this is the union operation okay there is some wrong here this is the union operation so here we need to use r so that will be p1 r p2 r and so on pn then y is qr so this pr is p1 r p2 and so on pr and the membership can be maximum of all these things membership values of p1 to 
Pn and hence the final rule is if x is Pr then y is Qr simple okay? simple concept so this come under multiple disjection antecedents next one is if then conditional statements with else if P1 then Q1 else Q2 so how to decompose this one so the decomposition for this case can be if P1 then Q1 or if not P1 then Q2 okay? this is simple concept okay? that's what that's how we can decompose the combined rule system I mean combined rule into these canonical forms here we have divided that the entire statement into two canonical forms and we are adding them with the one logical operator or similarly in the second example if you take the second example if p1 then q1 else p2 then q2 that means the decomposition is if p1 then q1 simple otherwise or if not p1 and not p2 then q2 so this is the meaning of it okay in this way we can decompose the compound statements next nested if then rules if p1 then if p2 else q1 so the decomposition for this can be if p1 and p2 else q1 simple thus the compound rules are decomposed into single canonical rules then this these rules may be reduced to a series of relations okay that's why we can identify this we can decompose these rules next aggregation of fuzzy rules the fuzzy rule based system may be involved more than one rule okay that we can do it the process of obtaining the overall conclusion from the individually mentioned consequence contributed by each rule in in the fuzzy rule fuzzy rule this is known as the aggregation of rules so the, the process of obtaining overall conclusion so how we need to add all the rules here in the previous case we are decomposing the rules and we are understanding the rules but here we are adding all the rules the, actually there are two methods of it one is conjective system second one is disjective system so the conjective system is like this so here n is used so this is the minimum operation so y1 and y2 and so on y r so this can be represented like that as we have already seen this part then minimum the membership function is defined as mu of mu y of y is equal to minimum of mu y of 1 of y comma mu y of 2 of y and so on mu y of n of y so this is the thing so this is the minimum so minimum part next one is disjective disjective means r operation will come into picture and this is the maximum we need to take see the maximum of these things next the properties of set of rules so what are the properties one is completeness consistency continuity and interactive let us see all of these completeness means a set of if then rules is complete if any combination of input values result in any appropriate output value that's all so we have the some combinations and any of these combinations will give any of the output that means the operation is complete then that is called completeness and this is the first property of the if then rules next the consistency a set of if then rules is inconsistent if there are two rules with the same rule antecedent antecedent but different rule consequence that means for example if a equal to b then they are equal if a equal to b then they are not equal if two consequences are there for the same antecedent then the rule is called inconsistent okay and that should not be there in the system next continuity a set of if then rules is continuous if it doesn't have neighboring rules with output fuzzy sets that have empty intersection that means continuity a set of if then rules is continuous if it doesn't have neighboring rules with 
output and fuzzy sets that have empty intersection so there is no intersection with the rule then that is called continuity and that should be there next interaction in the interaction property suppose that if that is a rule if a x is a then y is b this meaning is represented by a fuzzy relation r2 then the composition of a and r doesn't deliver b okay this is the rule in uh, interaction fuzzy rule system so thank you for your support and this is the lecture for rule based system if you have any doubts you can post in the comment box so that we can discuss and we can clarify our doubts if you like this video please like it if you want to share this video please share with your friends and family and kindly subscribe to our youtube channel and please press the bell button so that you will get the notifications whenever i upload any video thank you thank you so much